Hey everybody, I'm Greg with the Fix My Bleep channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. So this is going to be an unboxing, a setup, and then a review on the Echo Smart Pool Monitor. This is for swimming pools, hot tubs, and spas. So this is an item that you put in your water. It tells you if the water is clean and safe and ready to use, and if not, what treatments you need to use on your swimming pool. So let's dive right into this. Be sure and like and subscribe to the channel. There's also a link in the description where you can find this item. So let's check it out. So a couple of things to know right off the bat. This product is made by IO Pool. It's also the salt water version that we're testing today. And very important to know, you don't ever want to take this product out of the water once you've opened it and started using it. You always want to leave it in the water, otherwise you can void the warranty. This product also is going to connect with an app on your iPhone or your Android phone and it'll let you know what treatments you're going to want to use on your pool, your spa, or your hot tub, if any. Go ahead and unbox the Echo Smart Water Monitor. So I got everything in the box right there. So when you order it with the main unit right here. It's like some test strips, a little water cup. There's an actual sensor unit right there, it looks like. wireless controller maybe, USB cable. That's everything in the box when you order the Echo Smart Water Monitor. And like I say, this is the salt water version. They do have a regular chlorine version as well. Okay, so here's a quick look at the instructions. We're gonna wanna install the app on our phone first, so let's get that loaded up. You'll find the app in the start guide right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and install the app. Takes us to the IOPool app, manage your pool like a pro. We're gonna go ahead and get that. It's actually got four and a half out of five stars, not bad. We're gonna open the app. Okay, it's going through all the setup. IOPool would like to use Bluetooth. Okay, so next you will want to scan the paper with your phone that came with your smart device so go ahead and do that okay so next up it lets you scan your products that actually come in the package so let me scan these test strips and let me scan these items and then i didn't really see anything else that needs to be scanned so you go ahead and go next and confirm it says test strips salt test strips confirm so one thing I should probably point out while reading this, um, the Echo does need to be switched to winter mode when water temperature drops below 59 degrees Fahrenheit. So just note that because if you don't comply, that could result in some malfunctions on the device and void the warranty. So you don't want to do that. Okay, so we're going to activate the actual Echo. So it says take the Echo in your hand. Gently flip the Echo upside down and back upright position. Searching for your echo. Echo activation. Oh, look at that. Echo activated. Prepare echo. Pull the cord to remove the ballast. So, let me pull the cord. Okay, cord's been pulled. Remove the insulating film. Okay, now we can remove the insulating film. Okay, insulating film removed. Remove the cap. Be careful, it can be filled with liquid or crystals formed from this liquid. You can drain the liquid and crystals into your pool. All right, I'm gonna get down to the pool and let's do that next up. Okay. Next up, it says flip the cap and put it back. Holes from the probe should be aligned with holes from the cap. Okay, so we flipped it back. We've aligned the holes so they're lined up with the probe. 
just like that. Holes are all aligned. Should be good. All right, so next up it says push the ballast back into the cap. So let's go ahead and push it back into the bottom of the cap. All the way back in, just like that. Okay, now it says echo setup is done. If you can see the sensors through the cap and the ballast is placed. Ballast is placed in the bottom and we can see the sensors through the cap. Right there are the little sensors. It's like three little sensors down in there. And ballast is all placed. Okay, it says we can put our echo in the water. So I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in the pool and then we can go ahead and hit finish. And there she is. The Echo Smart Water Monitor measures three things continuously, pH, temperature, and ORP. So ORP stands for Oxidation Reduction Potential. Basically, that's how sanitized your swimming pool water, your spa, or your hot tub is, and if it's safe to swim in. Very important. So the next part of this is you want to put your antenna together, get this plugged in, and you want to be less than 30 feet if possible to where your swimming pool is. The closer it is, the better it's going to work, as with any Bluetooth device. Last step before you're all ready to use your smart pool monitoring device, you need to do two test strips and it talks you through it right here in four easy steps and they provide the test strips right here. So dip the test strip, remove from water, place the test strip on the reference card and then that'll tell you where you're at to kind of calibrate things. Once you finish your setup, you can open your smart water monitor app and it'll tell you where everything's at pool wise. Looks like my pH is really high, shows water temperature, and uh, it says disinfection potential. Looks like I need to take a look at that. So if I go add some acid to the water, it should start dropping that down. Gives you day, week, month, quarter. Super handy. Water temperature, same thing. Tells you if it's too hot, too cold. And again, the dates, gives you a graph. So it actually tells you how to fix any issues with your pool. So my smart water monitor, I've gone ahead and added acid and you'll notice it's brought the pH up to where it needs. But now it says disinfection potential. It's recommending that I shock the pool and add some salt. Now I do know my salt cell is not working correctly so that could be part of the problem. And I can go see if I can get my salt cell working and I'm gonna go shock the pool right now and we'll see if that helps or not. But this thing is definitely working because like I say, I hit the pH, I added one gallon of acid and look at that, it's right dead center where it needs to be. Here it is, last night, acid added, one gallon, boom. Fix that issue. Also I put some shock in it a few hours ago. Check it out, it was down here put the shock in, now it's raised it back up here. I may add another shock, but I've also checked the chlorinator and have gotten that working, and it definitely is improving. This little device definitely works, and it's uh, quite impressive. The price on the Echo Smart Water Monitor is running $299 on Amazon.com. If you're looking for the salt water version, it's running $349. There is a link in the description where you can find this item. Be sure and check that out. All right, time to go over the strong points of the Echo Smart Water Monitor starting right now. Strong point number one is the obvious, the cost savings. Instead of having a pool guy come out every three or four weeks and run a bunch of test strips, you can just look down at your app and every 15 minutes it's going to be updated with the vital information that you need to know. Strong point number two, this is compatible with pools, hot tubs, and spas. Strong point number three, this application will track your pool history so you know where it's been and you know where it's going and more importantly is it also tracks the inventory or the items 
that you order and it will help you order the items that are required to get your pool back in balance. Strong point number four goes a little bit with that last one. The application is really easy to use and it can recommend items if you don't know what to order but you don't have to go with those items. You can go out to a local store and pick those up as well. Let's go over a couple of drawbacks of the Echo Smart Pool Monitor starting right now. Drawback number one, this can be a little bit pricey to get started, but overall I think in the long run it's going to save you a lot of money with the pool visits from the local pool guy running his test strips. So the second item isn't necessarily a drawback, but more or less just something to make you aware of. This product has about a two year lifespan. So from the time you open it and get it in your pool, you can expect to get about two years out of this item. So the Echo Smart Water Monitor is definitely an awesome product, I've decided. The application is really easy to use. It reports into your phone every 15 minutes and tell you what your pool needs, your spa, your sauna, whatever it is and the application is amazing. So it told me last night it needed about a gallon of acid, went out and put it in, and boom, it's ready for swimming. So it's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of money, no more pool guy coming out and billing me 125 bucks a pop to come and run his test strips, and I love this item. I'll give it two thumbs up, I will recommend it. 4.5 out of five stars. If you're on the fence with this product, go pick one up, because it is gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of money, and a lot of headaches. So this is an awesome item, you guys. Hopefully this video is really helpful for you. There's a link in the description where you can find this product. Be sure and give this video a big thumbs up or a like. Also check out these other videos I've got going on, and I'll catch you guys later.